We're gonna go over some techniques today, clipper and racer techniques. I'm gonna start with the attachment, number three. And we start from the bottom up. The clipper gradually comes off the head. This is a level three guard. Now I'm gonna switch from number three to number two guard. With the number two guard, I'm gonna go from the pretty much the cyber area to about this area to fade into the, the longer length on top. This is called the C motion. You scoop it out just like so. Once I'm done with that section, I'm taking the number one guard. And I'm gonna work on the very low section. This gives you a nice fade, a nice taper. You're still doing the C motion. We start at the bottom and you scoop out slightly. As you can see, it gives you a nice graduation. Around the, the ear, we tilt the ear down, angle the clipper at a 45 degree, and just connect the back area with the sides. As you can see, we're working on the lower section. We're not going all the way up, just the very bottom. If you see that doesn't blend correctly, you go back to the higher level, in this case, I'll go to number two. And then reconnect the very low section to the upper section. As you can see, we did the taper from like level one to level three. It's a nice taper. On this side, I will use clipper over comb technique, a little bit more advanced technique achieving the same goal. The clipper follows the comb. The comb gives me the length that I need. So start very low, gradually pulling away from the head shape with the comb to achieve the taper look. As you can see, the idea is to keep the hair shorter to longer. Okay. Now I'm gonna connect both sides with the back. The clipper follows the comb. The comb is what gives you the length. I'm going freehand and just tapering the very perimeter. As you can see, the clippers angle at 45 degrees.
We're going to use our trimmers now. They're very narrow and very thin. So you go ahead and you make the outline of the neck. You lightly press. Be able to switch the blade around and make the line for the, this is called the candy cane effect. I will now get a piece of cotton, wet cotton, moist the perimeter. This is your barber razor. The razor is being used to shave the perimeter around the hairline. As you can see, the blade is much smaller. It's a small blade. So the way you want to change the blade is by lifting up on the, on the lever. As you can see. Remove the blade from the lever. That is the blade that you will be replacing with. That blade comes in a two, like in double blade. You fold it in half, rip the other half, open the paper, the package, open the package, align the grooves from the blade to the grooves and the lever. Make sure it's straight. Reinsert the lever into the razor. When doing so, make sure the blade is straight. Place your pinky in the pinky rest and the next two fingers go above the, the razor and your thumb goes just like so. We start in the nape area. We put, place our thumb you hold the razor lightly, pulling up with your thumb. The razor is held at a 45 degree angle. If you hold it at 90 degree, we do you scraping. You're not cutting anything, so it has to be 45 degrees so you can take some hair out. I place my thumb, and at the same time, simultaneously, I, I lift up the scalp, and I go down with the razor. That, that makes it able for you to have a nice sharp line. As you can see, you have a nice clean candy cane effect. Go to the other side. Once the, the cutting with the clipper is done, I'm taking the hair down. I'm gonna use the razor to blend the bottom with the top of the hair. It's also gonna have a disengagement on the top by keeping this area all long and then becoming gradually shorter towards the back area. When using the razor, the hair needs to be very moist. This is the cutting blade. This is a hair cutting blade. As you can see, it's much wider than the shaving razor blade. Now to change the blade, you're gonna lift up on the black insert, remove the insert, Inside you will find the old blade. Remove the old blade. So you can see the new blade, you break it in half and you tear it apart.
you separate it. Make sure you apply the, the blade in the connection points. By doing so, you have a nice straight blade. You close in the black insert and insert it back into the razor. As you can see, the blade is straight. Now the razor is ready to be used. This razor is for cutting, hair cutting, not for shaving. The way it's held is by putting the pinky in the bottom of the razor, your thumb goes in the pivot, and the other two fingers are left on top, with the third finger, the, the index finger, being able to be lifted up. So you're gonna hold the comb and the, sh and the razor in the same hand. You're gonna comb the hair, pick up the hair, place your comb by your thumb, and then you're ready to work. Take your next section. Give a nice clean parting. Come the hair down. If you feel your hair is too thick still, we're gonna be doing razor over comb technique. Where you're gonna comb the hair down and the razor is being placed above the comb slightly, and it actually helps you remove bulk and blend. As you can see, this type of technique allows you to keep the hair longer but everything blends in with the nape area. So I'm directing all the hair back with no elevation. So you have the length longer, it gets gradually shorter towards the back area here. Take the next section, bring it back. Again, no elevation. At this point, you're just trimming off the ends. You never raise it from the frontal hairline. If you raise her in this area, the hair will just stick up. So bring your hair down, and just reshaping the length. So now we'll do some air forming through the use of air wrapping. Just lifting the hair up with the brush, give it some shape and direction, and then give it a little movement right in the frontal area. Make sure you have a nozzle on your dryer at all times. Here's the, the, the microwave fiber. Lather into your hands and just work it into the hair. This hairstyle is very versatile. You can scrunch it to the side, you can go straight back with it, all different ways. As you can see, with the clipper and the bait on the bottom and the razor work on the top, we were able to achieve a beautiful look by having a nice shortness with the length long on top, yet still blends in. Slightly undercut in the frontal area, but able to blend in from the back.